What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the best way to get money or easy way to stack up cash. If you guys are going for the whale, which is 200K, maybe you're trying to exfil with 100K or maybe you're even just doing exfils for 60K. Doesn't matter what it is, the best way to earn money will be using this method. And it is also extremely helpful if you're looking to regain because obviously sometimes you go in, maybe you die to AI or you just have a bad run and then you will be without your, your vest or your large backpack. This is an easy way that you guys can rack up some money and actually just purchase those instead of having to wander all over the map looking for them. But before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you share your support for the channel. Go ahead and down below and smash that like button. Let's go ahead and throw a goal of 100 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you just do hit that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. Now, I'm just going to be straightforward. This is no money glitch. This is no... Outside the ordinary, this is going to be the best real method to earn cash in DMZ or stack up your cash. Now, cash is very useful for multiple things. You can try to obviously reduce your cooldown time on your insured weapon. You can purchase tons of stuff through the shops or buys that are really helpful. Or maybe you can just exfil for a challenge and get this done a lot easier. But essentially what you're going to need to do is load in and you're going to want to be looking for the contract phones with the destroy supply contract icon, which is going to be the bomb. What you're going to want to do here is it's going to ask you to first plant a bomb out at the first site. You're going to want to go over to the site, clear the enemies there. Yes, sometimes there are armored guys. You want to take them out, plant the first bomb, go to the second one, plant that guy. Once you've got both of these sites exploded, then you will, of course, reveal the safes. Now, the safes are going to be the big part here because obviously opening safe is going to be a good way to get money. And you can also get valuables as well. Now, I noticed that earlier in the match I did this, the more safes would be revealed also might just be the area you're in not all of the destroy supply contracts are going to reveal the same amount of safes but anyways most of the time i was able to reveal three to five and those are quite a good amount of safes to open in order to get a ton of money so if you just go from safe to safe and you kind of just open them all up you can go through them pretty quickly especially if you get a vehicle you guys will be able to rack up a ton of money but alongside the money situation through the safes you will also earn valuables that you can take to the buy station or shop and sell and that will also help add on to the amount of money that you're earning. Now, I noticed when I cleared like three or so safes, I could actually have 60K if I was the one opening all of them just on my personal self. And then obviously if I have squad mates, they can open some as well and obviously earn money that way. You guys kind of can share money if you need it, so it's not a big deal. But essentially moving through like three to five safes will get you probably around 100K. And if not, you'll get the valuables to kind of reach that point. This is also helpful because you can still go across the map and complete another destroy supplies. You can sit there and just open safes, as many safes as you could possibly find throughout the match and just keep racking up as much money as you desire. Now, the great news here too is that you will also find valuables. So maybe if you're going for something like finding gold bars or maybe you need gold skulls, you can also find these in safes as well. So it's kind of a nice feature either way. But most of the time when I'm looking to regain, maybe I had a bad run, I definitely just go in, get a destroy supplies contract, go to the safes, rack up a bunch of money quickly, and I'm able to go to the buy station, buy a three plate vest, buy a large backpack. And then if I want to, if I feel like I'm getting pushed on time, I can just exfil, jump back in and get back to my missions or whatever the goal I might have at that time. Essentially, the best way you're going to be earning money is by completing the destroy supply contracts, though, going to the safes, opening each of these. Now, obviously, there will be reinforcements. It's not going to be an easy run per se but typically when you knock out the reinforcements there's not a ton more that just keep coming in so you guys will just open these safes grab the money grab the valuables if you need to do that sell them but overall you guys will rack up hundreds of thousands of dollars per match just by running these contracts and opening those safes now that's going to wrap things up for us here this is the most legitimate way to get a ton of money during a dmz run and more than likely it will help you guys with other things that you're working on as well Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.